Hi, welcome to Brain Masters videos. Today I will be doing on coordinates geometry, midpoint, parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, so here's the question. Okay, find the coordinate of the midpoint of the line segment and the equation of the perpendicular line for the point 4, 4 and 8, 6. So first they're asking for the coordinates of the midpoint. So how do we find our midpoint? Since we have two points here, 4, 4 and 8, 6. So midpoint is a very simple formula, which is just your x1 plus x2 over 2 and your y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, so x1 and x2, so I have these two values, so 8 plus 4 or your 4 plus 8 and my y1 plus y2, so it will be 4 plus 6 over 2. So working out this way, I will have 6 and 5 for my midpoint. Okay, so next and also they are asking for the equation of the perpendicular lines. So, so how? Perpendicular lines, what does it mean? Okay, so let's label our point in our graph. Let's say I just roughly draw a graph for you to see. Okay, so 4, 4 maybe somewhere here. And then my 8, 6 will be somewhere here. So this is how your graph will looks like. Okay, this is the line actually. So here's the two point. Okay, 4, 4 and 8, 6. So the midpoint is actually 6, 5. So this is my midpoint. And they want a perpendicular line. So how it looks like? It will cut here at 90 degree. Okay, so first, if I want to find the equation, I know the equation of the line is always y equals to mx plus c because it's a straight line. Yeah, so I need to find my gradient first. That's how it always goes. So gradient of what? Gradient of this original line first before I go on to find my perpendicular. So gradient, so m. Gradient is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Okay, so I will use 6 minus 4 over 8 minus 4. This will give me my gradient of 2 over 4, which is reduced to half. This gradient is for here. So my perpendicular gradient, okay, perpendicular gradient will actually be flip them up, which is 2 over 1, and add a negative, which gives me negative 2. Alright, so this line, the perpendicular line, cuts the point at 6, 5, which is the midpoint, correct? So I also know that I'll have 6, 5 as my x and my y. So put it into this equation, right? So 5 equals to negative 2 multiplied by 6 to plus c. This is to let me find my c, right? So 5 equals to negative 12 plus c. My c will be okay, bring this over 17. Oh, so now we know already. So therefore, my equation or my perpendicular line will be y equals to negative 2x plus 17. Okay, so here you have your midpoint. You need to know the formula, the gradient, and the perpendicular gradient. So I repeat, for the perpendicular gradient, you just need to flip this two around and add a negative. Okay, and to find a straight line, you need to use your y equals ms plus c. So why do I use a point 5 and 6? Because it cuts the midpoint for the perpendicular. Okay, because perpendicular line means it cut it into equal parts. So when I rewrite my equation, this will be it. Okay. So here you have how to do on your coordinates geometry for the midpoint, parallel or, per or perpendicular lines. So if you do like our teaching videos, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. Or you may also go on to our blog over here. Okay for more related questions that I've prepared for you. Okay, thank you.